بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر وی دی نیو ٹاپک دی آکٹل نمبر سسٹم وی ہیو سین دی بائنری نمبر سسٹم اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ڈسکس دی ڈیفرنٹ آپریشنز ان دی آکٹل نمبر سسٹم آل رائٹ سو وی بیگن آکٹل نمبر سسٹم آل رائٹ Now we've seen from the introduction what is the radix of this octal number system. The radix is 8. This is a base 8 system. Base 8 system. Which means we have numbers from 0 to 7. Alright. We've seen this. Uh, previously today we discuss the basic operations over here so the first we discuss is the octal addition octal addition all right for the octal addition we have some rules so let's say we add uh, two uh, numbers octal number a1 a naught plus b1 b naught okay now uh, from the simpler rules of addition first the rightmost is added so let's say a naught is added to b naught results in c naught okay this results in a c naught now if this c naught is less than or it's equal to 7 so this is the sum this C naught is the sum directly. We write it like this. All right. But if this C naught comes out to be greater than 7, which means it's 8, 9, 10, which is not included in this system of numbers, so we split it into its sum and carry. How is it done? It's written like this. It is, uh, the method is 1 multiplied with 8 plus the sum or I can write this carry multiplied with 8 carry multiplied with 8 plus the sum we'll see that in the uh, addition we have a maximum carry of 1 the carry would always be 1 carry always 1 whenever in octal addition all right so we understand this now through an example okay so let us have an example uh, 240 without a carry let's say the first example is 240 plus uh, 212 plus 212 so this is simple as it is because all of these numbers are, are included in the octal number system so 0 plus 2 is a 2 4 plus 1 is a 5 2 plus 2 is a 4 simple as it is okay now the second example we include a carry let's say 567 plus 243 243 now have a look 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 10 is greater than 7 10 is greater than 7 let me write it over here 10 is greater than 7 so we split it like this 1 multiplied by 8 and what should I add more 2 more plus 2 so this would give me a 10 this is equal to 10 all right so this 2 is the sum, I write it here, and 1 is the carry over here, alright? Now, 6 plus 4 is 10, and plus 1 is 11. So 11 is again greater than 10, is again greater than 7. So I can write 11 as 1 multiply 8 plus 3. So this 3 is the sum, and this 1 is the carry again. Now 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 is again greater than 7. So I can write it as 1 multiply 8 plus a 0. So the 0 is the sum 
and uh, 1 is a carry again, so this 1 comes down here. Don't confuse this 2, okay, with it? So the answer to this is 1, 0, 3, 2. That's simple addition. Should I do another question or not? Well, I think I have another question. 1776, 1776 plus 345. Now have a look. 6 plus 5 is 11. So 11 is a grain greater than 7. We have it here. So the sum is 3 and the carry is 1. Now 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. So I can write this 12 is 1 into 8 plus 4. So 4 is the sum and 1 is the carry. Now 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 again. So 3 is again the sum and 1 is the carry. So we have a 2 right here. 2, 3, 4, 3. Yes. So that's a simpler uh, octal addition. Okay. Next we have is the octal subtraction. So octal subtraction now. So let's have an example directly. 743 minus 564. All right, so now have a look. Now this 3 is less than 4, so we cannot subtract, so we need a carry from here. So 1 is taken as a carry, so this becomes 3, but the carry in the octal number system is 8. It's 8. So 8 plus 3 is equal to 12. And now 12 minus 4, this is 8. Okay? Then we have 3 minus 6. So we can't do it. So another carry. This becomes 6. We take a carry. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8 plus 3 is 11. Sorry. So this was what is 11? And uh, this one also is an 11. So 11 minus 4 is a 7. And now we have 11 minus 6, which is 5. And then we have 6 minus 5, which is 1. So 157 is the answer. Now how is this 8 carried? Have a look now. We have this 7, 4, 3. So this is a weighted system. This octal system is a weighted system in which each position has its own weight. Base is 8, so this is 3 into 8 to the power 0, this is 4 into 8 to the power 1, and this is 7 to 8 to the power 2. So now if I take a carry from here to here, so I take 1 as a carry, 1. So this becomes 3, and this over here, 3 into 8 raised to the power 0, has another 1 into 8 raised to the power 1. Alright? But this 1 into 8 raised to the power 1 has to be expressed as 8 to the power 0. So, can I write this as 8 into 8 to the power 0? Yes. And then 3 into 8 to the power 0 plus 8 into 8 to the power 0. So, this will give an 11. So, let me write like this. Plus... And this will give me an 11 to 8 to the power 0. Alright? And then similar is the case over here. From this 7 into 8 to the power 2, I have uh, uh, into 3 it is carried out. So this becomes a 6. So 1 into 10, uh, we have a 3 into 8 raised to the power 1 from first. And then I borrow a 1 into 8 to the power 2. So can I write this as 1 8 to the power 2? Can I write it as 8 into 8 to the power 1? Yes, I can. So next now these two are added. And they give an 11 into 8 to the power 11. Yes? Yes, 11 into 8 to the power 1. 8 and 3. Is that fine? Yes. Let's have another example. 6 to 4 minus 2 6 5. 6, 2, 4, minus 2, 6, 5. So 5 cannot be subtracted from 4. So we have a carry from here, which is an 8. So 8 plus 4 is 12. This remains 1. Okay, 
So, a, uh, 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay, now why, 6 cannot be subtracted from 1. So, we have another carry from here. This comes borrow, borrow, sorry, borrow. This turns out to be 5 and 8 plus 1 is a 9. So, 9 minus 6, we have uh, 3. And then we have this 5 minus 2 is a 3. I often confuse this uh, borrow with a carry, but you people be careful. Whenever I'm talking in a subtraction, it's a borrow, okay? So that's all about the octal subtraction. Okay, so octal subtraction is done. Now we have the next one is the octal multiplication. Octal multiplication. All right, so let's do it an example. Uh, through an example directly, we have 72 multiplied by 12. 72 multiplied by 12. All right. So two twos are four, but now two sevens are 14, and 14 is greater than seven. 14 is greater than seven. So we do it similar in case as we did to in addition. Uh, similar to addition we break this now into a product and a carry so 14 is equal to 1 multiply 8 plus 6 yes so this 6 over here is the product and 1 is the carry so we don't have anything we bring it down here now you can place a cross over here or a zero over here let me write over here that this would be the sum and this would be the carry, whereas this is the base. All right, now one twos are two, and one sevens are seven. So four, six plus two is eight. Eight is again greater than seven, so eight can be written as one into eight plus zero. So I write a zero as a sum, and one is a carry. So seven, eight, nine. Now nine could be written as one into eight plus one. So one is the sum and one is a carry and one comes here. One, one, zero, four is the answer to this. One more. All right. Let's say we have a 635 multiplied by 55. 635 multiplied by 55. All right. Five fives are 25, but 25 is greater than 7. So I can write 25 as 2 multiply 8 plus, uh, or I can write a 3 multiply 8 because 3 eights are 24 plus a 1. So this 1 is the product and this 3 is the carry. Now we have a 3 fives are 15 and 16, 17, 18. So 18 could be written as 2 multiply 8 plus 2. So this 2 is the uh, product and this 2 is the carry. Now, 6 fives are 30 and we have 32. So, 32 can be written as 4 multiply 8. Uh, 4 eights are 32 plus 0. Plus 0. So, this 0 is the product and we have 4 as a carry which comes down directly over here. Now you can replace a zero or a cross, whatever you want. Then we have a five fives are again 25. So again, I write it like this. One is the uh, product and three is the carry. Then we have a three fives are 15 uh, and then a three is carry. So we have a two as a product and two is the carry. Then again, we have a six fives are 30 and two carry. So 32, which makes zero uh, the product and four the carry. And now addition. Simple addition. So 1 multiply 0, 1 plus 0 is a 1, 2 plus 1 is a 3, 2 plus 0 is 2, 4 plus 0 is 4, and 4 plus 0 is again. So this is the answer, all right? So this is about multiplication. Okay, now the next thing we have is the octal division. The octal division, and this is the last operation, okay? This division can be a little confusing for you if you have not studied the conversion. So I suggest first you go to the conversion list. I, I will tell you which one to study, okay? So let's have an example. 
we have a 4 to 2 divided by 7. 4 to 2 divided by 7. And this is what system? This is the octal number system. So let me write the table for 7. 7 zeros are, 7 ones are, 7 twos are, 7 threes are, 7 fours are, 7 fives are, 7 six are, and 7 sevens is are. So we have the maximum value 7, so 7 multiply 7 is the last, okay? So 7 zeros are 0, of course, 7 ones are 7, but in the base number system we have uh, 7 twos are 16. I've written them down for myself, 7 threes are 25, 7 fours are 34, 7 fives are 43, 7 six are 52, and 7 sevens are 61. This is for the base 8 system, okay? As this 61 in base 8 is equal to 7 sevens are 49 in base 10, okay? So first, I suggest you watch the videos on decimal to octal conversions, okay? This 52 is again equivalent to 41 in, in the uh, decimal number system, alright? So then it would be easy for you. So this is the 7th table in the base 8 system. So uh, we have this 4 is less than 7, so first we have a 0 over here, we bring down the 4, wait, wait, we have a 0. So 4 minus 0 is a 4, the 2 comes down, 2. Now have a look, 43 is greater, so we go with 34, 7 fours are 34. Now we have a borrow of 8, we have a borrow of 8, so 8 plus uh, 2 is 10. 3 remains here, so 10 minus 4 is 6, and this is 0. Now this 2 comes down here. We have a 62, but we have 61 over here, so 7 7s are 61, and 1 is the remainder. So we have the quotient as uh, 47, with the remainder 1. Alright, so this is simple uh, uh, division, but you have to keep this in mind. I think I have another example for you. Yes, I have. That is on the fourth table. The question is 5, 3, 2, 1 divided by 4. 5, 3, 2, 1 divided by 4. And I have the fourth table over here for you. This would be a 0, of course. This would be 4. But from here, we have what? 10, 14, 20, 10, 14, 20, 24, 30, and 34. All right. This is it, okay? For sevens, are, you know, it's the 28 normally, but we have this in base 8, which is the decimal equivalent of this. All right. Uh, how do we convert it? If you want to know, just let me do this one for you. The number that you want to convert is 28. And what base do you want to convert it? Is the base 8. So you divide this number by that base. It's 8. All right. Now, 8, 3s uh, are 24. 8, 3s are 24. We have a 4 remainder. Okay. So first you write the quotient. And then you write the remainder. So that is the equivalent. So which means 28 is equivalent in the octal number system is first the quotient is 3 and then the remainder is 4. So 34 in base 8. So that is what we will see in detail, but this was just for introduction, okay? So we have a 4, uh, 1s are 4, 1 is the remainder, this 3 comes down. All right, now we have 13, so we have 4, 2s are 10. We have three remainder, then we have two over here, uh, which makes us here for six or thirty. We have another two remainder, this one comes down, and we have a four, four are twenty, and we have the one remainder in the end. 
So for this question, we have a quotient of 1, 2, 6, 4, and we have a remainder of 1. So that's all about the octal division, and that's all about the octal number system, the basic operations in octal number system. And that's all for today's lecture as well. So see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.